Joseph had a soft heart. He had a soft heart. He had a righteous heart. He had a compassionate heart. He had a soft heart. And what is it about Joseph that was so that, that made his heart so soft? Uh, Joseph was willing to change. I said Joseph was willing to change. A lot of times we are not willing to change. We will pray for other people to change, but we ourselves do not want to change. God changed my circumstances, but don't change me. Lord, change this other person, but don't change me. And, and Joseph was in a really bad circumstance and made his decision, and God changed his mind. I'm on page three now in your notes. And, and, and let's, let's point something out here. Joseph was able to be transformed into what God wanted him to be. Let, let's, let's pause here again. Let's make sure that we know this, okay? Well, God, go ahead and change my mind as long as you give me a better option. I'll change my mind, God, as long as you give me a more comfortable option to embrace. Okay, Joseph did not get a more comfortable option, okay? Your fiance is pregnant. Everyone's going to think that the baby is yours or somebody else's. And you're going to have that stigma around your friends for quite some time. This is what's going to happen to you, Joseph. But you and your wife are going to be the parents of the Messiah, the Son of God. He will save his people from their sins. So Joseph, I need you to do this right, and this will not be easy. This will not be comfortable, but it's the right thing to do. And understand, obeying God is not always easy, and it's not always comfortable, but it's always the right thing to do. Even if you, even if you have a certain way that you want to go, even if your decision is made, even if you're ready to do this, it could be that God just wants to change your mind, Joseph, and are you willing for your heart to be changed? When you hear his voice are we asking for us to follow god's will or are we asking god to follow ours let me ask that again are we asking god to reveal his will so that we can follow his will or are we trying to give god our plan and say hey god here you go follow my plan i've learned that god doesn't always follow my plan God does not always embrace my strategy at all. <laughs> Next, Joseph had a trusting heart. We're still on page three. He trusted God. 